Oh, man. Oh, looks like they're straight in. It is going to be uh, Static Gorilla coming here on the left. You always see that stroll coming through. Starts off with the jab, gets a clean hit right away on the Viper. Clean hit, not a clean combo, though. Okay, on the ground mount for it. Should be able to finish. Just one bar to take the kill. Okay, looking for the dolphin kick here. Jumping out of it, though. Jam session, conversion, no, not there. Great air to air conversion off the jam session here. Looking good, but no, the drop combo. Yeah, a little too high, didn't quite work out. Jam session for the lockdown, and because of the push guard, that's an easy guard break. Very smart setup there. Absolutely, and you can keep this to one bar here, so this is looking good for Rage. And gonna have to spin too. Magneto ain't gonna kill off that. Yeah, million dollars definitely gonna do the trick though. Scroll. It's interesting to see Static Grill on the Doom. I actually like this team comp more just from the perspective of how much stronger it is in general. Normally we see the Sentinel coming out. Oh, for sure. But here we go. Stinger conversion. Yes, I love it off the stand M there. We're doing the basic, 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 basic version. I really like that as well. Keep it safe. Keep it solid. Make sure Scroll dies. You're going to have to pop X if you want to kill. Oh, that's why oh. we, we got to make sure he dies. The X-Factor is perfect. Wow, what a command grab there from Static. Ends at mid-screen, too, so now this mix-up about to be dastardly. Oh, back to the corner. Mirror smash, almost had it with the punish there, just didn't believe. Trying to catch it in there, can't quite. Yeah, that's the thing you got to watch out for, uh, Scroll. Okay, they get touched with the super, doesn't get too much else afterwards. Jump medium also connects, but can't find anything for it. Oh, coming in with the tri dash light, catch with the overhead here. Not gonna be able to kill though. Yeah, he should be able to. Didn't DHC out though. Yeah, I mean, at this point, saving stroll for last isn't gonna get too much value for you, and the shockwave is able to completely shut down the projectile game. Static gets one hit here. You get the level three, and that could be it. Yeah, definitely gonna be able to get the kill if we find that hit, but hitting Magneto is just so difficult. Oh, oh but not if he's gonna whiff like that. There's that first touch. It's B Blue with the $5 contribution. Thank you very much. He didn't believe he was He was looking for the big read right there. I feel like especially Anchor versus Anchor, uh, when you don't have X-Factor, no reason to try and go for the big read there. I mean, just commit to your light. You have a standing low that you can chain in. You can cancel if they push block on reaction. You got a lot of room to work there. Yeah, I mean, but you're, you're on stream, man. You're looking for that big read, though, I mean, you know? We go getting the Viper going here. Should be able to kill off a of one bar. Ooh, I like that. Actually catches with the super. That's a cute little way to finish that off. Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to Bacon Lord for coming through with the twenty dollar donation direct to the channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Okay, with a burn kick. Oh, that is a sick conversion. What a way to fix! I love that. The use of EX Seisma. <laughs> EX Thunder Knuckle too, I guess. Yes, you gotta watch out for that, man. Go right through, but you gotta spend the bar. But what? Definitely worth it. Okay, good little cancel there, avoids the launcher, gets that first connection, and yeah, using EX Burn Kick is the perfect way to reconfirm it, but unfortunately has to go for the throw afterwards. And I need a TAC, yeah, definitely wasn't enough to kill. Here it is, though. Bro, you have three meters, just gravity squeeze him. Couple good blocks in a row, just running away, trying to let the jam session do the work while you can. Now I'm moving against it because he didn't grab his squeeze. There you go. Should be able to set up for it here. Just end it, end it, end it. No! Oh, bro. I hope you lose. I hope you lose. They're asking for it now. I'm not finishing the combo right there. Careful how you play that. Oh, uh, there it goes. Tipped it out. Zampool coming through with the sub as always. Appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Medium into the frame trap, does actually manage to get the connection here. Frame trap goes for a second time, can't quite find the jab, and the beam was a little mistimed. Definitely looked a little late there, because normally you would get hit right into it and able to confirm off of it. Here we go, Rage gonna be able to get the kill here. 
once again, simple and solid. Nova goes down, bucket head, not too much else to do. Skrull does get away, but here comes the super. Not gonna be a lot of damage. He <laughs> Seismo again, but not able to convert. Yeah, one of the tough things about using Skrull in situations like that is that's an okay bust out super, but he gets punished on hit there. Take a little counter hit there, man, especially when uh, Viper's in your face. I like the zoning here, Seismo, Optic, yeah, keeping him out. Mm, but not for long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy jump over, pops the X Factor. Viper dies for one bar, and now Scroll set to go wild, but we're going to tag into Doom. No way. What a conversion and an even better mix up there. This is karma for you taking so long to kill the last game. <laughs> oh, and the same mix up connects again, but doesn't get the second foot dive. All right, now I hope against the Rage wins, because I can't believe Static Gorilla dropped that easy confirm. What are you doing? Okay, good harassment with the mediums, but unfortunately, overcommits has to go for the X Factor to avoid. Spear Flame, looking for the teleport. No, here we go, but it's going to trade out. Why would you? Well, why did, come on. Oh, jumps up, catches all the finger lasers, cross up in the corner. You better be careful, you're about to get put that. Oh, off the airplay. All right, one hit, one kill. No, you use the DT, so yeah, no more level three. Depending on how we hit, though, we could have gotten the kill, but here we go, it's gonna be in a reset situation. Oh, he could get punished here? No, he's gonna land safely? He does land safely. Look for the chip. Oh, Psycho Crusher going right through. Oh. Uh, but you could have just waited. Maybe you could have just dashed him and gone for a throw or gone for Psycho Crusher a little later so it could have been more stable. I don't know. But all I know is Static Gorilla got lucky, bruh. Oh, shoot. Great punish, though, by Static Gorilla. Good chicken block. You got infinites? <laughs> I'm always waiting for him. We said TAC. Character. Character goes down, Nova comes in. Not able to get the assist out though because of the timing. A little unfortunate not having the knockdown there, but jam session pretty easily answered from full screen. Doom beam. You know, I don't think I've seen against the Rage play before, but uh, I like what they're doing. I like this team, I like the way they play. It's good stuff for me. Okay, can go for the one super. Not quite enough. Potentially gonna look for the chip here. Try to go for the air throw. Ooh, almost with the S. Good chicken guard right there. Static, very aware of it. Tenderizer goes for the high, but unfortunately Dolphin Kick is like the slowest possible high you could have picked in that spot. It didn't even want to go for the pickup. Had a very easy forward heavy there. Shattercoin with the two gifted tier one Shattercoin. Good to see you, homie. Appreciate you as always. Pop X, yes. Build the next bar. Get the kill. Tie this up. Good look from Static here. Goes into a game five in the first set of the night. Strong start. Got to look out for the EX Seismos. It's game five, man. That'll be the one that gets you. Especially with how uh, pretty aggressively Rage has been spending X Factor to just make sure Nova dies. Just wants to get through to the rest of the team as soon as possible. Especially with Scroll, a really predictable air dash, so it does have some movement to get out, but it's not too hard to scout it out. I mean, you can easily get air thrown, especially if Viper's playing against them. Okay, another good push block. Sets up the shield, gonna play a little more defensive. Ooh, Crouch M would have been it right there, but does not matter. Dolphin Kick coming through. One, clears things out, has time for the assist this time, tries to go for a very late cross-up, ends up just finding a throw. We were all tagged to Doom if we wanted, but instead we're going to keep Nova. That's what Rage wanted. Rage went up for the air throw and just mistimed it. Oh my god, the legs. Just looked like he was trying to jump forward, be aggressive. Absolutely, but got to get the kill here just to get it tied up. You know, it's not incredibly efficient, but uh, it works. It gets the job done. That's all that really matters. Oh, what a throw. So low to the ground. Oh, I actually didn't know you got the launcher there after rolling hook. That was cute. That's clean. X Factor. No, oh. one more spear flame. Not sure what that was about. 
Not very much fun, but still gets the jumping medium. And that same mix-up, man, it has been putting in overtime. It is just completely unblocked all set long. It's going to earn Static Grill the 3 to 2 victory. It's a pretty sneaky little mix-up it got there. Um, I don't think it was that sneaky, bro. I think that mix-up kind of sucks. The same one. Look, that mix-up is kind of... Ninja B coming through with a sub. Thank you so much. Here we go. Airborne versus Zenpool. That's what we like to see. Yeah, kind of a hot start here. Airborne, that's what been working hard. I know he's been, uh, the Modoc has been the uh, the more permanent switch for him lately, and I know that he's been working on playing on Hitbox recently. So he's been uh, leaning into Leverless a little more. I'm not sure if he's uh, experimenting with it right now, but it's been cool to get to see him make the swap. That can definitely help with the flanking for Spider-Man on his web throws in uh, Modoc's high Logan. The problem with switching sticks this late into the game, right, switching devices this late into the game, is that you have spent a decade getting used to your character is being like an extension of your body, you know? And now you gotta switch completely. You have to think before you act. And that's a little bit harder. Yeah. Plus, Levelless is a sin. But there you go, OTG goes for the launcher. Couldn't quite get there with the follow-up. I ain't saying all that. <laughs> <laughs> Levelless is a sin. And Deadpool. Trying to find something here with the Dante. I, I'm missing the Ryu, but you know, I, I like to see the swap. Oh yeah, yeah, Dante's the call, bro. Let's be real. Jam session, one of the best assists in the game. Trying to use that airplay, trying to close the distance. Unfortunately, Akuma assist doesn't get a lot of value against Modok. I feel like overall, uh, between the barrier and between the way that Modok wants to move and missiles, Akuma's not gonna be much of a factor, but the DHC here is gonna be good unless we go for our own. Going back to neutral here. I mean, that's a good call right there. You could take three hits on the beam. Nothing big. Yeah, nothing you're too worried about for sure. No punish there. Able to get out. Got to watch out for the missiles. Great evasion here. Close the distance. Gets the hit with the Psycho Crusher. Couldn't find anything. Was way too high for the jumping S for sure. Oh, off the beam. Great confirm from Airborne here. Yeah, started out with the jab though, so it's going to be very heavily scaled. So you're going to have to look for a web throw or two and then kind of end it as quick as you can. But for the reset, yeah, Homebreaker, he was definitely mashing TAC there. That's yeah, just like I was just saying, starting out with the jab scales it super heavily, especially for Spider-Man. But with a drop combo, we're back in it. All takes is one, man. You got to watch out for Vortex. It's fully invincible all the way through. Adjustments, yes. Getting the kill on Dante. Good look from Airborne here. The Spider-Man's getting going. Okay, but you got to be careful about how you approach the final boss here. Goki closes the distance, gets the Tatsu. Nice dash and a great launcher. What a call, man. You're, as you're saying it, here we go. Akuma's coming through, wrecking the whole team. Good at bars, almost oh. three. Foot dive connects. Spies a little too close to the sun's up. Well. You thought. <laughs> you thought. And all it takes is one good old fashioned foot dive. Absolutely. Level three. How long do you think you have to cook Akuma in the air fryer? To kill him? Oh, yeah, that was about like, you know, three Marvel seconds. Not long. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> he burns quick. He's, he's already at 400 degrees. <laughs> oh, my God. Gets the throw, but it's a little too high. I don't think he felt confident about getting the confirm. Didn't want to overextend and lose out on neutral. Uh, the neutral advantage he potentially could add. It, this is a weird matchup because, like, Deadpool's hard to catch, and so is Spider-Man. So oh, yeah. you know, they're essentially doing the same thing at this moment, trying to catch him with the assist, put him on, and get a high low mix up. Yeah, a little unfortunate for Spider-Man, though, as he has to be the one to approach. Web Ball is an okay projectile, but Deadpool has so many more options to keep you out and be disruptive to these assist attempts from uh, from Airborne. I mean, you got the Ninja Tools, you got Pineapple Surprise, you got Quick Work. Okay, trying to keep it safe, but that's... Oh, okay, able to act first for Airborne, though. Yeah, timing on the DHC wasn't quite good. Had an opportunity to take back neutral. Gets the connection off the psionic blast and straight into the spider sting. What a great way to just kind of reconfirm and reassess where your combo's at with that ground bounce. It, it's such a great tool to use because it, it re it puts your combos where they need to be so you don't drop them. Off the beam before it, nothing there. Let's just break out though and look at the HP right now. At this point, really, anything will do it, and absolutely, the jumping heavy straight into the jam session will kill. Got to put the Dorito on, because you already know pineapple surprises are going to be raining down. Yep, Sonic Bomb as often as possible. Having that projectile on the screen definitely helps out with when Deadpool wants to try and close the distance a little bit. 
And that's the thing, you can put the Dorito out, and you saw what Zempel there called the assist, and it gets blown up right away because he's not going through it. And especially with missiles, I think in the long run, uh, Airborne could win this out in neutral. Yeah, but unfortunately, he's down in character, so as time kind of whittles down, it's going to get a little more desperate for him, but just every second counts. Yeah, but Zen's on empty right now, man. All he's going to take is a good DHC or an S like that. Oh, thought the missiles were going to interrupt. Didn't quite get there. Carol yeah. Angelos, by the way, coming through. Appreciate you, homie. Now watch out for the Helm Breaker and the Hammer. Able to get out. Stay medium. Didn't find much. You've got to get the hit on Dante. Ooh. There's the air throw. Missiles are coming. And good recognition to know the jab was going to have enough time. Crouching medium. The, uh, the Mountain Dew would have taken a little too long. That's perfect timing from Airborne there. He's got in there, assist, taking a lot of damage. Here we go, Super, getting out. Forces the X-Factor. I mean, at this point, there's about 10 seconds left. You might as well. That's X-Factor level two. Oh. connect. It's going to be close now, though. Yeah, all those little bits of damage really starting to add up. Air throw gets the connection. That should do it. This is so hard for Dr. Doom. I mean, all you can offer is chip right there. Photons are not going to cut it here. Yeah, I was going to say, as long as Empool calls no assist, that is locked up at that point. I don't like how passively Airborne played at the end. Because I feel like you have five meters, you might as well take some kind of shot, land and go for Sonic Blast, maybe go for the DHC into Doom, let MODOK get some of his health back. I think you have a lot of opportunity to make some aggressive calls to potentially get back into that. I mean, I agree with that, like you were saying, because you have five bars, you got the photons, you can stop <gasps> Deadpool. God, this is another good way to stop Deadpool. What we dropped, we had both. That was huge. Could have been a big one there, but here we go. Able to get the throw, so we're back in business, but no, the drop. Yeah, web zips upwards instead of down. Sonic Blast actually goes for the autocorrect, ends up finding off the normals, which is rare, I feel like, with how generally kind of bad spider man standing normals are. They're not great. Not great, but man, that was a great confirm from Airborne there to get the kill here. Hammer, yes, connecting, side switch, no, but... Able to get to the other side on neutral, so you're not pinned in the corner, though. Let me not say bad. Let me say below average. Yeah. <laughs> They're workable. They're enough. He said they work. <laughs> That's what matters. Oh, no, just a little too early on the bolt cancel, though. But able to get the mix up here with the teleport and the assist. Yeah, as I started to play Dante, that's a drop I noticed a lot. Teleporting too early and not getting them yeah. all the way to the wall, that's a tough one. It's hard to time. OK. Not going to go for the DHC. Just going to take a little bit of damage off the air raid. Still fine. And we'll take that. We'll work the uh, DT down, you know, because Modoc can zone. And he can also build, like, his own little fortress. Fortunately, Dante is very good at getting through fortresses. Stinger is quite the tool against characters that try and sit behind a projectile. Stinger's godlike, man. Venetia Crystals as well. Teleport ends up on the same side. That's a great push block. But unfortunately, gets Revolver into a very weird spot. We're going to look for Chip, maybe. He might have been looking for a Verb Shock there to add some Chip. Got to find a way to get Modoc out. I remember this is what we talked about last game. You get him out, get Dr. Doom in, let him get some health back. You can start zoning. Because no, now we Raw Tag and Doom had taken half his life already from Akuma. That was good recognition there from Zempool to put uh, Airborne in just a terrible spot. It, it was it was kind of crazy because he was point blank and he back throw and got missiles no. there. And that, you know, if you forward throw, you got the throw every time. Absolutely. Or at worst, you get hard kick. And it's like, okay, I jump cancel. We yeah, got, you, we got mixed. you can option select it, you know, get the mix, call the assist, whatever you want to do, get some pressure. But I mean, there's still a chance here, but you know, time's dwindling down and you got to make a move here soon. Yeah, I don't really know how we find this hit, especially with Zempel sitting on X-Factor. So having that X-Factor available, to potentially just go for the cancel. At this point, you're using like a Guilty Gear RC just to keep yourself safe on a commitment. Yeah, you got to bring Modok in. He has the health here. Oh, but he's going to be able to punish it. Dive kick does it. The double demon flip to time out that whole super was so sick. You forget that sometime Akuma has crazy air axe. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. I don't think he has enough. Zempo even recognized. He said, you got that. You got that. Yeah, hands off the stick at that point. Not much to worry about. Strong showing still from Zempo here. I mean, it's, it's only 2-1. You know, you can get one, you can get three. 
Okay. Low, good put. I actually love the cancel into the wet zip. It actually ends up low crushing the attempt at crouching heavy. Oh. Almost got it with the anti-air age there. Oh. Give Spider-Man Nova jab. He confirms that every day. Yeah. Oh, only on, if he's man. a little bit taller, man. I feel like most versions of Spider-Man are pretty tall, too. He just is the boy's very heavily crouched. Yeah. <laughs> Deadpool unsurprisingly winning out on the zoning war right now. Closer than you'd think right now, though. Locks here. Not going to be able to get anything. DT to keep it safe. Stan M into the mix-up with the assist call. Great thinking from Zenpool. Yeah, it felt like it was a really obvious cross under there, so staying same side, really, really good. Simple is best in a lot of situations like that. I mean, Dante with Tatsu is kind of hard to deal with, and especially with the quick work assist. So quick, perfectly times it so you can combo it. Yeah, and quick work and how it kind of vacuums towards the direction, that uh, the opposite direction Deadpool's facing makes it uh, really easy to confirm with Dante, I feel like, in those like suitable, un uh, like pseudo unblockable situations. It's a very sneaky assist call. Yeah, just like his whole his whole assist layout is so good for like stinger assist teleport. Both oh. of these assists are insane for that. Both characters for sure. This is definitely a good Dante team. I miss Ryu, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, he doesn't get the hit though. I mean, I would like. Ooh, anti air M. Definitely a great button to press there, but not going to matter. But I would like to see a little bit more of the weasel shot, yep. call assist, then get your teleport. Then you could really mistime his push guards and blow him up for it. Yeah, you can also um, you just add chip as well, because weasel shot does chip, so it's a little bit of extra pressure on the time as well. Yeah, because you can frame trap your stinger into reverb shock, which goes in the fireworks, which does a lot of chip. Yes, it does. Oh, and again, the forward. Dude, that overhead, people have told me for so long the overhead is bad, I don't believe. <laughs> it's it's great until it's bad. Oh man, but the OTG in the follow-up should be able to finish with the X Factor. A hard fought 3-1. That is Zenpool taking it down though. It's a good match though, man. Yeah, incredibly back and forth between the two. Definitely exciting to get to see. Agrina coming through by the way. Appreciate you. Thank you very much for the support through the sub. Yeah, but it's it's like you are saying. I, I like seeing Zenpool play the Dante. Yes. Fuck it. I'm not supposed to cuss at the beginning of a match. Hey, Sorry. bro, cut that one. You too. Lucas, yeah. cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Eccentric St. Valentine, though. This is an especially hard matchup, I feel like, for St. Uh, Valentine. Tracking down Chun-Li, who's gaining meter the whole time? Come on, bro. Yeah, but we've done a good job. You got the first hit here early. You're not... You got to get rid of her or snap here to get Phoenix. Emma, I'm going to say that uh, you got a misread on that. <laughs> that's a missed input. I know it took you five minutes to work up the courage to say that to me, but that's, uh, you know, I I'm on the top side. Oh, God. Well, here you go. Here should be your finish. Zip, zip. And there you go. Chun Li goes down. The World Warrior no more. And we tag into Chris for the mix. Yeah, but you still got to deal with Morgan, and Phoenix is almost at five. Over didn't get much. Gets the trade with the grenade, though. Ah, but a missed combo. So much work here. Oh, great throw from Valentine, though. Yeah, Morgan significantly more manageable when she is not paired with missiles. So, you know, even Chris Redfield sometimes can have a chance. It makes a difference. Chris does crazy damage, bro. I'm trying to see what this Morgan outfit looks like, but I can't tell because she has been on fire for the last 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. So we got an interesting end game to be on. Ah, uh, never mind. If She-Hulk dies, the interest goes down quite a bit. We have some very good anti-Phoenix tech on this team from a lot of different sides. Since you can X-Factor Command Throw Super, right? This, oh, is she? Is. Oh, yeah! my hero! I can't believe he nailed it! Oh, Jenny. Bruh, anti-Phoenix tech from She-Hulk. She-Hulk is top tier, bro. Don't you ever think otherwise. That's why Valentine had no problem going through the team in order like that. Plus, I mean, like I said, it's multiple characters on the team. Spencer's also very good anti-Phoenix as well. Both of them can do it. Oh, he missed out on his launcher. Look, Eccentric may be one of my favorite players, but I'm going to be happy to see anti-Phoenix tech all day, you know? Also, I saw somebody say Morgan and Phoenix on the same team, no honor. 
if you try to play Marvel with honor, you basically dishonoring the game, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't think I don't think you're supposed to play this game fairly. You gotta play the cheap stuff to win, man. Yeah. Everybody that plays Marvel is broke anyway, so you gotta be cheap. <laughs> All right, maneuvers. That's a perfect time for the mix-up. We're gonna attack Chris again. We are. So Chris is gonna be the decider for the matchup here. Oh, off the low here. Chris beats Morgan. We can't ban her. <laughs> That's two in a row. <laughs> All up is clean. Certainly going to get the kill on the Succubus. All down to the bird for the second time. This is where you go to the hard tag or bring in Spencer right here so you have the timing for the next mix-up. No way. Uh, too high, too high. Where are you going? But that was ambitious. Yeah, that might have just cost Valentine the entire match here. Oh, he's not getting out. Been all this 1.1 mil. Yeah, being able to save your X Factor in that spot is also very, very good. Oh, that was kind of dirty. Oh no, missed the super jump height though. Yeah, twice in a row the missed timing. That's things up a little bit, goes to the TK overdrive and then dashes out, good non commit, and then baits out the throw attempt. Good jump out, but able to get the throw here, no! All right, finally gets the pop here, able to combo with the overdrive. All right, let's go Spencer. Let's go home, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, safe to the morgue for your boy. A little unfortunate there. I mean, that's just good structure of mix-up, too. If Spencer touches the ground, he's got such a good shot in that one because of the two-button bounce on Yeah, you definitely got a chance, that's for sure. There we go, spinning bird kick. Good to confirm here. Cedric gets that little air reset. Works out pretty well here, but messes up the timing on that uh, on the combo in the corner. But it doesn't matter. The lows are unblockable right now. Yeah, St. Valentine, what are you standing up for, bro? I don't respect that's how I play defense. I'm holding up. Get me out of here. <laughs> I don't want to block on the ground. That might work. No, it does not. Yeah, fully invincible in response. Goes to the full launcher as well. Mothman, I completely agree. This turn is definitely looking extra crispy here. Went for the fake TAC reset. Reset. I don't know. Okay. I'm, re I'm really getting thrown off on Morgan's outfit here. And for the second time, Arm gets very cleanly dealt with. Yo, Ham Jam's coming through with the sub. Appreciate you, homie. I'll be seeing you in a few weeks, a couple weeks. Y'all make sure to sign up for Tampa Never Sleeps 9 in Orlando. Coming up <laughs> March 1st through the 3rd, you already know. If you watch this on YouTube, first link, as soon as you look in the description. Go, go, go. Oh, the trade out there. Absolutely the right idea. Get Phoenix while she's at low bars. Spiral, you're coming to TNS9? We're going to see no Spiral way. in person? Let's Jeez. Oh, dude. It's fun to get to see you at Evo, man. I hope we get to see more. Heck, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys are signed up for the 3v3 team tournament for Marvel. That's going to be fire. I'm looking for teammates, by the way. I suck now. Oswald, I'm, I suck so much now, we can team up finally. Ah, that's say, good. I already uh, got a team. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> nah, I, I, nah, I don't <laughs> suck that bad. I don't <laughs> suck that bad yet. I'm uh, afraid. <laughs> I still got some self-respect. Net battles, what's up, homie? Oh, my God. He said, uh, just based on legacy, I can't team with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Static, Gor know. Static Gorilla says, I'm free. Oh, yeah, you are free, homie. That's good. <laughs> You're going to stay free. The lockdown. A good double jump, but you can't escape. Okay, this should be the finish for Chris here, especially with the charged up bird kick. Yep, level three. Level three. Never get see. Oh, critical art. Yeah. Now we're gonna call it now. This is not even calling level threes. Call them critical arts. At least for Chun. Yeah, I know, right? 
Big time is how am I going to pay others to join my team? Uh, bruh, I'm running the bracket. This is my tournament. We already in grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> I make the rules. <laughs> oh, Ooh. so fast with the reset of the throw here. That's such a mix-up in itself, right? Because he's got the throw reset, he's got the needy reset, and then he's also got the TAC reset. You know, that's uh, that's pretty cheap stuff. For the shell kick, okay with the low, but the grapple's gonna connect here for Valentine. Oh, uh, I think he was thought he was too Ooh. far away from the quick for the quick piercer, so had to go Ooh. for a little bit suboptimal of a combo there. Morgan gets the better of it, and that should be an infinite. We're gonna attempt it. Uh, I'm, I'm always down to see the Chun Li infinite. More Chun Li screen time is good for me, baby. Oh my God, Chun Li dropping the ball here. Combination punch. Yes, he able to get it. That was a that was kind of like a sick conversion there off a of flamethrower and a com uh, combo punch, man. Like almost a conversation punch. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. That's his fist talking to your mouth. <laughs> Okay, so after a little bit of gun game here, comes through with a DHC, and that'll be the finish. As long as you keep Spencer alive, you still have a chance here. Especially if he's going to be spending meter here. I mean, getting the activation with Astral Vision is good, but didn't get very much value from it. No, because right. it's almost out here. Yeah, only a little bit of Astral left. Just be patient. Be patient. All right, now you can play like normal. Make him spend another meter even. Without an assist, Morgan fireballs. Morgan Astral isn't that that crazy. I'm not saying it's not still good. Just without missiles or bolts or jam session. Oh, but the weapon swap's going to cost you here. Yeah, I feel like sometimes you still get in that panic mode where you feel like you need to play against Morgan the same way. That's what I felt like happened here. Just push blocking. Live, man. Oh, get the level three here. No, the drop. Still, time is ticking, One, three seconds. Wow, what a throw. Like, great way to start here, X-Factor. No. I I almost oh. think you might opt for the snap there and get Phoenix out. No, nah, no, nah, you don't want Phoenix out. What you would want is to kill Morgan there and then try to time Phoenix out. Because you have enough time now to where if you pop X-Factor, you don't take chip. You know what I mean? But now she's got it too. She's just gonna run away like crazy. Wasted all that time. Oh, so fast. Gotta watch the arm. Oh, no way. Oh, it could. It could. No way. Oh. That felt like it was the same frame, dude. Only if Spencer had a level three. You know, nah. I used to play Siegfried in Soul Calibur, man. I used to just Where? ring. Yeah, I used to ring people out all the time. But uh, already popping the X Factor from Best Xbox is working out though. Yeah, I mean, especially against Hulk, you might as well spend it. Nova versus Hulk, this match is annoying. Look, when you make mistakes or have a risky play and it works out, you look like a genius. And when it doesn't work out, you look like a dummy. Right now, Best Xbox is a genius. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's like, it's like when you go for the two-point conversion or when you pass it on, like, first and goal. You know what I mean? You look like a genius. They should have ran it. Yeah, should have ran it, though. That, ran, that random ass onside kick when it's even. <laughs> oh, missed input there. But he was able to back off, not get hit by Lariat. And blowing up Hagar here. And Jay McSpass coming through with the sub. Appreciate you, homie. Good jump out. Got to watch out for the headbutt. Oh, uh, was just trying to do his best to avoid the drones, but you can't hide forever. Hagar, dude, the one true hunter. He do look like he has one of those bounty hunter reality shows. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's true. <laughs> this dog the bounty hunter, Hagar. I like this call here. Erase the drones, keep Hagar back. We like keeping Hagar back. Good little crouch medium there to slide out. All right, you're getting too close. Good push block. Gonna put up the pulse, though. Ooh. Actually, Raw S works out and hits Hagar, but Drones protects him. All right, get out of there. No way. 
right off the pipe into the drones. Good look for TJ here. Like that, down to the final incoming. That's double jump, doesn't use it, gets guard broken instead. Clean from DJ on the mix up. Oh, that was unnecessary. He That's he just rude. Flag. Oh, he gonna lose for that one, TJ. Oh, keep it simple. Okay, there we go. Get the super, get the kill, get oh, out of here. That was day one vanilla Marvel 3 BNB. <laughs> I respect that. It's still not enough. Bro. I don't know super, but. Believes in the Sentinel. I don't know why. I, I mean, still with Dante, you gotta watch out for the air to air M's from Sentinel. He has great range with that. Oh, runs right into it. I think I think Sentinel might be TJ's weakest character. He's doing a lot though. He's just kind of baiting out for hits here. You can't blame him. He's playing it the right way. Oh no, he's he gonna hit by Crouch Medium. No, able to block just in time. A great DT here to recover a little bit of health. Try to win this battle. Yeah, six seconds. Going for the drive. Decent amount of chip to come off of that one. Goes for the jump. Looks for the throw. Oh. Nice guard break. TJ coming in clutch. Never even left first gear. That's kind of far. Like you said, that guard break, man. The recognition to make sure he got that. It's a little unfortunate that Hulk didn't really get to play in the first game, but we're going to ensure that he does this time. Spends the X-Factor right away, and that is the key to big bodies. We say it all the time. Every hit has to kill. Not every hit. I mean, you know. You're trying to go back to neutral as Hulk? <laughs> you do got drones. I don't know hard and fast rules. Just be hard and fast, you know? Ooh. I think he's being hard and fast. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Dante feeling it too. Oh, oh. no, forgot the extension there. Didn't have any meter to do anything else about it. Leave it Dante alive. This is bad news. And you get the Frank level up here. Good look for uh, best Xbox. Damon, don't say phrasing. We, you know we said it intentionally. Come on. <laughs> don't act like you didn't know that we didn't know what we were doing. Mm, try to go for the tricky stuff with the side swap. To Brawl teleport. Ooh. He doesn't get punished for it, but Lariat easily beats out the Raw launcher. Even if he didn't have the Lariat, that thing is super negative. Sentinel had all day. Nice chainsaws. Spins like a helicopter. Cleaned them up. I like that mix up. Just stand in front and call Lariat. <laughs> it's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, Damon. You might be. You might be. You, if you watch enough, you already know. I feel like Nova just like <laughs> trying to figure out what he has to do here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now, best Xbox seems like he's looking to evade Hulk, but not a not a plan to actually attack Hulk. Oh, oh. you know, maybe you shouldn't be attacking Hulk. There you go, Super will clean up the assist as well. G Tech, big homie, with the five dollar contribution. Thank you, bro. Yeah, and best Xbox with the two character contribution to TJ. <laughs> Okay. You got to do a lot here. I don't you like got to pop odds. X, yeah. Whatever it takes to kill Hagar here. I don't, I'm not. I'm not particularly fond of a reset here. How do you approach him? He just chills. You kill Stand M when he jumps. Uh, Stinger on the way down. Oi, not jumping S though. Probably not Helmbreaker in a situation yeah. like that. That's an easy cleanup for TJ. Remy, you the best. I love you. Not the best at Marvel, but best as a human being. <laughs> Damn, Ooh, TJ. Okay. Put a little taunt at the end? Disrespectful. Hey, man, no. come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ZMC facing off against the missiles on the other side. All right, our favorite here. You already know what you love to watch. But it doesn't matter if it's a zero mirror. We're just want, we're just trying to watch the more lose, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great start for it. Cooking up the zero right away. One of the brothers coming in next. 
Ohms, I've seen you. Ohms looks like he curled 315. <laughs> That's a big man. Oh my god. It was a, a giant dude to play the smallest character, too. Why are you such a big dude playing? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> play Hulk, man. Hey, cross up comes through. Virgil, not a problem. All right, looks like this is a uh, body bag here in the first game. This might even be a perfect. <laughs> oh, said <an> anti compensating. <laughs> oh, my God. There were more clean work. I think that's regular compensating. I think Owens played Marvel first and was like, yo, my character sucks. I could get better at this game. Or I can go bench press. Oh, unfortunately, that was an air to air and not off the launcher there, so the S does not go for the hard knockdown. Uh, tried to get away from the missiles. That was a really nice uh, conversion from Remora, recognizing his assist was coming. Good with the rapid slash. The spacing that stand H, man, was perfectly placed. Uh, looks like I'm not going to see my dream come true. Remora doesn't look like he's losing in this game. Oh, he might. Yeah, no, he got it. I have to watch him for the next one. He's playing it really safe right now, though. I'm looking a little dialed in right now. All right, Hysterics going to get a teleport. Nope, we're going to keep the same side. Mm, lucky that Dante was in the air at that spot. Rapid Slash actually hit both. Another Ooh. opportunity. Calling that Rapid Slash, but not being ready and not being able to confirm on these. He almost got it with the H on the way down, but here we go. We're more off the Rapid Slash with the H, making it happen. Yeah, that's the difference maker, especially now that Dante is uh, kind of getting his ass whooped with DT on, so gained no meter for that, too. Yeah, that's rough right there. Here we go, that Pixel Zero. I'm going to opt to keep him in. Yes, he is. Oh! On any character but Virgil, that was an amazing shimmy, but yes. that is a full screen normal. <laughs> For the unblockable, good chicken guard though. Yeah, just catches him trying to up back. Easy peasy again for Amora. A little bit lower on the life total this time, but not gonna matter too much. Two games in a row for your boy. A little delay before the launcher, getting it done here. Is Amora sweep Tong in shambles right now? <laughs> I think Tong's okay. <laughs> That was a really good use of the second dash there, knowing he was not going to have time unless he goes Sogen move. But if he Sogen moves, you still have uh, your air, uh, your command movement. So that's plenty of time to actually get away. That was a really good option from Remora. Even better confirm there. Again, the rapid slash, man. That was a good little adjustment some, there. I like that. That's some Ram Bam stuff. I like that. A little DP. Hit, jump H. Oh, wait for the missiles. Looking for the snapback. So that was definitely a good choice in that spot. A little unfortunate it doesn't connect though. Dante can still fight in this matchup, man. You, you just got to get him locked down, get some weasel shot on him, call the assist, mix him up. Win the game. <laughs> Win get the married. Game. <laughs> That's a long list, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? That's one hit. You get zero out. Never mind. One hit. Get him out. There you go. Spend those meters. Keep it simple. Remora going to clean it up three games straight. Look, if you don't want to see zero mirrors, at least thank Remora for making it fast. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, definitely looking practice in the matchup. They're looking good. Looking Remora clean. should be practicing DJ here coming up against Tony. Another Viper on the field. Oh, I like the way Tony played. The oh, he had the huge happy birthday. He autopiloted that victory away. Doesn't matter that we get another hit. My dude is not afraid to swing. This is a hope player's nightmare. You know what I mean? Like when you're just not afraid to push buttons, hoaks are hoaks are used to you hesitating. So they're like, oh, I'm gonna dash in here, get a little closer. Not this guy. This is point Virgil double OTG assist. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan, bro. I'm the I'm the biggest Tony fan right now. This is the this is the stuff I used to play. Low profile off the drones, getting out. My dude is playing Viper. <laughs> My dude's playing Viper like his Hagar. <laughs> he doesn't care. Ooh. Oh, no. no. Oh, didn't have any meter to do anything about that one. 
three set maybe? Yeah, how far are you gonna push it? Just gonna go for the knockdown, look for the chase. I love that press again, like you said, don't be scared. Oh, got them both. Okay, able to get Hagar. Oh, and the Wesker <laughs> got OTG, my hero. <laughs> Remind me what it's like to be alive in 2011 again, you know? Hong said, if you don't play neutral assist, you're, you're, my, you're my best friend. Rapid Slash doesn't quite get the side switch, though, but it's okay. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Every time he OTGs, I get a little more excited. Oh, my God. Feels like it's been so long since I've seen Samurai's Edge, bro. That's the best assist. <laughs> Don't you ever forget. Bro, this shit is working. TJ, one of the one of the stars of TNS these days. Body and everybody. And my dude did it with two OTG assists, okay? Oh, he's not, he not going to do it this time, though. We're getting rid of the problem. Uh, Viper putting in bad work. We still got a shot. If he can hit the ground. Tony play exactly like a Cosmic Lord. You're right, Hunter. Oh, yes. Oh, hit. I thought Haggard was dead for a second the way he was getting knocked down. Oh, oh, no. Finally caught him standing still. Oh, but we're still in there. Lands doesn't spend the extra meter, so unfortunately, still in there. Actually, still alive. You can throw, maybe. Oh, just chose to take the block here. Getting a little gun shy, maybe. Oh, I hate to see that. Oh, yes. got him both! Oh, and that OTG? He even got OTG on the team super. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love this guy. Yes, oh. just push the button. Bro, why did Sandwich sign up as Tony Killer? <laughs> I was going to say, that was the shots to my boy Gusto. <laughs> He's playing some raw ass stuff too. Oh my god. Some OTG, not enough. Everybody got a friend that plays Marvel like this. You know what I mean? Every Marvel player's got one friend that plays exactly like this. Boy, we had a good conversation about this last <laughs> night. <laughs> yes, sir. This is it. 2-0 over TJ. This is working. Is this Ray Ray playing under a uh, <laughs> suite of them? <laughs> like, TJ's like, I don't want to do this. No He's more. like, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. hold on. <laughs> Time out. He's like, I called base. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. He oh. said, bro, slow it down. Get the switch up. I need Red Hulk. <laughs> if, if Tony Killer wins one more game here, bro, I'm not even going to need the pill tonight, bro. Just, <laughs> we going. Oh no, this is bad. And Viper fell right into it. Dude, TJ might be on the board. Took him long enough, you know? I swear to God, if this Wesker comes back. Oh, no, no Wesker not coming back. I'll come back in the next game. Yep, short and simple. All right, TJ, you're in there. This Red Hulk is too strong, bro. They need to nerf Red Hulk. It's right? a difference maker. Red Hulk is cheated. <laughs> it's cheated. <laughs> That's Blood Hulk. Oh, no. Okay, but that's huge here. This could be Tony Killer's game. Which means that's Tony Killer's. Bro, I want every Tony Killer set on for the rest of the night. Theo's production, whoever I, whoever needs to hear this. Oh, dash under S, man. Dude, <laughs> the is so sick. The way this guy is playing is so entertaining to me right now. You know, back in 2011 when everybody played like this, you wanted to see the cool stuff. Now, this is the stuff I want to see. Yes, sir. Yeah, you were scared of the instant overhead. Uh, Tony's going low. <laughs> Tony don't got instant overheads. <laughs> he got OTG assist. He don't even have the full combo. He just HS, HS until you fall out. <laughs> oh, that's going to catch. Should be okay. DC? Oh, I think he would have been okay. Oh! oh! He, he definitely okay now. There you go. It's all right. Just take the damage. You got X-Factor on your side. I know TJ was like, holy shit. <laughs> Okay, good fix. We're back in there. Stabilized. All right, killing Wesker here is a pretty big deal. All right, one OTG secured. All right, we, we still got X-Factor, though. Oh, I knew he was going to dash up swing. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, oh, he's itching. 
He's oh, oh my god! Oh no! Oh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, violent axe, the heavy version, coming through, <laughs> putting them in the blend. All right, Viper, you got two bar. We got two bullets in the chamber. All right, look, look, I'm a Tony Killer fan for life, but uh, Viper not coming back from this, not against this team. Oh, the relaunch? relaunch, just because. That's how you know TJ's confidence is back. The just because combo. All right, Tony, lock in. We need this. All right, ain't nobody ever said lock in at one, all right? <laughs> oh, look at that! Song's like, lock in! <laughs> oh, we went, we went for a Helmbreaker air reset. Oh, oh my god, we're back to the same side with the lows. How dare you mash H on me? Oh, kill Hulk, kill Hulk, Spend kill Hulk. Brother, do it. Oh, no, you don't have sword loose, brother. He There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, H brother. That's simple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We need this character. Okay. It's the tag. All right, Viper is meat. That's it. She's done. She's not hitting anybody. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> not anybody, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not good. He doesn't have the assist, though, right? No, no, yeah. Sentinel got bodied earlier, so he's still waiting. Damn, you saw him spend the meter just. Oh, oh, this guy's a genius. This guy is the smartest Marvel player ever. He said, oh, he's going to spend, though. It's fine. It's you fine. Take that. It's fine. He can't do anything with that. You won. You run away and gunshot, all right? All right, uh, Fredo, I need I need you to tell Duelist that I want every single Tony Killer match for the rest of the night. Thank you. I need to see I need to see who else this guy is gonna beat. Oh, <laughs> Tony Killer beat Monday. I saw Monday complaining about some lag earlier. Yeah, you can call it lag if you want. It's definitely it's about 12 years of lag the way my man is playing. All right. <laughs> All right. Viper in the 1v1. Gets oh! away! Tries to go for the heavy hooligan. It doesn't work out. Oh, he dropped the DP. We don't have OTGs. You had two of them earlier. He don't know how to do it. <laughs> he need the assist. <laughs> oh, man. This is a tough situation here. Oh, my dude is blocking too many lows while Tagar's in the air. He was fine. He was sitting duck right there. trying to bait TJ into something. All right. 30 seconds. That's going to be about 75 seconds of real time. You got multi size mode? You couldn't OTG earlier? Look, man. Some, <laughs> some inputs. Oh, just push block. Yes. Oh. Good job. Way to punish that perfectly. Look, I, I, you know, I normally root for TJ, but damn, bro. This, this Tony guy is my new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He said one hit OTG. All right. DXP coming through here against. Oh, the names are wrong. What is going on here? My production team is. It's whack today, guys. Fire, fire yourself, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DXP going up against King Carlos here. You already know this Viper has done some serious work in TNS brackets recently. Already up to start. Should be able to kill Doom off of this. Nah, I don't think it's going to. Um, if you get zero at the right spot and you get the loops going, for sure. He builds another bar off this, too, for sure. If he executes, he's dead. Yeah, he's still got Viper Assist as well. He's got Buster to use. Oh, no. It's all right, though. DXP gave him a gift instead. SoCal Special said, I didn't really want that character anyways. Yeah. What's crazy is you can never count DXP out. You know, it's like his, his Doom is bleeding, his Virgil's dead. Oh, no character is dead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm about to say, man, Carlos dropping the bag here. He fumbling the bag harder than DXP did against Chris G at Combo Breaker 2022. Oh, no. Yeah, why are you with the deep cut? I, I throw all the details in there, too. So, you know, I practice saying that, actually, all the time. Uh, Strider, no, no X Factor. No way. Ah, no way. dude. Go ahead, go ahead so to the next work. game. Go ahead to the next game. Maybe we get some Strata 2099, maybe, in Power Swap. Not like this. He needs like 10 more hits, bro. Yeah, by my calculations, he needs, yeah, one more on Viper. There's the one more. He needs two on zero, 
and he's going to need three on Doom. And the crazy thing is, he might get them all. So there's the one on zero. Now he needs that one more. There's the one more. Now he needs three on Doom. He's actually going to do this. This is why I hate DXP, bro. My dude is so damn good for no reason. Okay, birds, bombs, everything in between. Throwing the whole zoo, the whole armory. There's the Vondro, but the bomb actually messes it up. Okay, so oh, that, that was the one hit. Oh, he's, I mean, he's going to get another one. Don't worry. Oh, why would you push block that? Oh, no. King Carlos finally able to close it out. But DXP is just so good for no reason. That's what makes me mad. Like, I need DXP to win some damn mages so that people actually understand how good this guy is. You know? Tony Killer in the chat, bro. You're crazy. Good to see you. <laughs> the first time chat from the homie. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, yo, Twitch tag is PSN Tony Killer. How did I not guess? <laughs> How did I not guess? Oh, dude, it's fire to watch play. I love your yeah. team. <laughs> Tony Killer is my absolute favorite player of all time. Now, I ain't never even heard of Justin Wong. I heard of Tony Wong. Raw tag takes too big of a step though, a little unfortunate. Yo, Mortem coming too with a gift sub for Tony Killer. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. My man deserves it. Okay, you know Vajra's coming. Oh, Trying to go for the yeah. jump forward. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Stinger was too meaty with Vajra, man. You're gonna have to eat that no matter what. Puts you in a weird spot, too, because if you push block there, when you land, you have to block swords, and you uh, cancel out of guards so when you land, so you make yourself block a left-right by jumping there. And it's tighter because yeah. of the teleport, for sure. Look at the beam here. Okay. Photons. Uh, air throw, a little too high. No missiles, but he didn't believe again. Almost had it. Photons here. Going to bring in Virgil. Can you get the helm breaker? Yes, he can. Gotta watch out for EX size modes. You don't even have to, man. That mix was too good. Clean. That's one of the nice things you can do against Viper is just cross left, right as much as you can because you have to input the EX size mode. It's not like Spencer where you can just two-button tech it. You have to get a clean input. So left, right as fast as possible in situations like that. It's actually really good against Viper. Okay, looking for the photons. Hopefully a hit here. I mean, the one thing King Carlos got going for me, you got some bars here. You got time to spend, but you don't have anything now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not much to do on that one. Clean touch from DXP. I hate that he optimizes even when he doesn't need to. Like, he did not need that Doom Beam, but he was like, peep how much damage I can get. Yeah, but the Lunar Phase, like, puts you in a good spot to make sure, like, hey, I don't drop this combo anywhere and keep it simple afterwards. <laughs> Swords at the beginning. That's like the one thing you got to watch out for. If you can live the swords, your chances go up a lot. And he does. Gets the jump out as well. Had an opportunity for a punish. Release the buster. If you just press pizza cutter, you for sure get the hit there. Oh, yeah. 100% agree with that. But here we go, man. Off the hard tag. Okay. Gonna look for the double relaunch. Mmm, snap. Good escape from Doom, bro. He is holding up back. He is out of there. He's going after Strider. It's going to trade. Good DI back. Not to overcommit right there from Carlos. Hard tag. Able to get out. Get the zero in. And if you're on the ground and you see a Strider call, man, you just got to raw S that thing. Oh, absolutely. Certain characters are better at it than others, but zero. Everyone on King Carlos' team except for Viper it has a really good launcher. Seismo can take care of it. Seismo, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Hilo dealt with. That's one thing I like about DXP's defense, too. He just picks high or low and just commits. You cannot shake him off of it. It's hard to deal with, bro. <laughs> there we go. Got the hit on Doom here. Looking good for Carlos. Plus to release. Okay, got them both. That's super. Twice in a row. Carlos. Uses that double jump, still has an air dash, but he's going to try and hold on to it, lands on the ground, and the Vajra gets the hit. It's like you are saying, man, the uh, side switch right there with the teleport, it's very hard for Viper to deal with, with EX Seismos or anything. Oh, he had it! Doesn't matter, though. Chased him down, prevents the super. And Carlos locks down in the end. Okay. 
Vodrick's activation of the sword does end up finding a hit. Unfortunately, Vodrick kind of beats up the combo, though. Rare to see, but it doesn't matter. DXP, he's got the, he's got the confirms dialed up from everywhere. Yeah, you can see the, uh, DXP, the way he's playing, keeping Carlos out. Carlos a little frustrated, kind of forcing the situation a little bit. He's lucky that he was able to drop out of some combos. Mm, that's a good tag on Doom as well. Fireballs are a really opportune moment to be able to get that raw tag. You can confirm that. Almost had them both. It's all right. All you need is the one, baby. That's good enough for a full screen confirm. Only one missile for the setup. The blocks, even better throw from Carlos here. Oh, it's gonna go for the X. I was gonna say he's gonna need to look for a TAC, but instead we're just gonna cash it out. I think you kill. You gotta, you gotta time. You gotta tie it up right now. You got missiles, so you got a chance here. EX burn kicks a good look if you can pin him down. Oh, oh did you see how Virgil came down diagonally? That was crazy. A little awkward there. I think the push block just initiated it kind of weird, but there we go. Looter phase gets the launcher. Last character. He got it. Not quite. Okay, boots up the sword, trying to get the pressure on. Same side. Vajra, one more hit, and that should do it. Yep. Throwing the round trip works out perfectly. DXP going to make his way through King Carlos there. Strong stuff. Ooh, so we're going to go Akuma point. Magneto assist. I just said, I got to match this, bro. <laughs> Did he? Was that hyper grab? Was his assist hyper grab? Tong would love it that. It sounded like Tong it. would love that. That's the, uh, oh my god. That's the Kevin. <laughs> Shout outs. <laughs> That is the Kevin. <laughs> That's the Kevin, bro. Shout to the old homie. He's disc golfing and playing guilty here now. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> Ooh, cross underneath. Gets the connection. Takes Doom all the way to the corner. Ooh, good side switch on the jam session call, but no, did not have the buster fully charged. Let's got to put the M, air H again. Standing medium, what a button from so far away. Perfectly placed there from Yuli, getting the kill here on Dr. Doom, all up to Magneto for Legend. Buster, same side. I don't like this costume from Magneto. It feels like a different character. Still my boy. I don't like it. He's dead though. I don't know, man. Le you think Legend changes up here maybe? Uh, Maybe Akuma wasn't it on point. He didn't really get a shot to show us what the team does. Like, Akuma just kind of got worked. It's like one of those things. You've been playing your team against it for a long time, and you make a swap here with a Magneto, Hyper Grab, and Akuma. Yeah. Because I like, I like what Legend was doing before a lot, where he was just picking Dante and just going for a jam session against stuff like this, which I think was a good pick. Jam session's great. Oh, you know what's great? Tatsu. Here we go. Great confirm from Legend here. Okay, Akuma's solo damage, obviously, well, not even solo damage, just damage in general in the corner is very high. Oh, he's going to kill. Easy kill, Spear Flame, able to get a zero out. Good start for Legend here. This is what he wanted. He wanted some mix there, but not going to get it. Hammer wins. Yep, no mix oh, to be seen. He got the happy birthday as well. Magneto taking a lot of damage here. OTG still juggling Magneto because he was not the next character to come in. That timer that normally applies to characters doesn't apply to him. Clean touch from Virgil. Yuli off to the races, but uh -oh. drops. He's going to get the teleport here. He almost had it with the swords. Look at the jump over jam session call. So disgusting. Here we go. No way. A little like fuzzy that. guard on the way out. A little rising J JL for the Bro. fans. For the fans. That was kind of messed up. And Living Legend gonna go for the swap. It is gonna be Mr. Redfield coming in next. I just gonna I like this is the team I like against stuff against stuff like ZMC. I really like this decision. I think Chris does really well uh uh in the hands of Legend, and I think the jam session does a great job locking down. It's one of those things where it's like character comfortability, man. You know yeah. he knows how to pilot Chris. Yep. You know, he's been doing it for years. I mean, if you're gonna make one character swap, Dante, you know, that makes sense. Chris and Akuma, you're very familiar with these characters. Yeah, still, 
even with the character swap, it's still difficult to be able to get your stuff rolling against ZMC. <laughs> it is, it is, and Legend can do it, man. It just, it's a slow-paced game, man. He's playing chess. No, doesn't get the kill, but Yuli tags. Don't stop giving away Virgil. You, you seen it. Legend was waiting for yeah. it, bro. He chilled. He was chilling, yeah. man. Very calm, cool, and collected right there. Okay, pain brought. Shoots his dead body for good measure. Hey, man, that's Virgil, man. He deserved it. Oh, okay, look at the grapple. I see you, I see you. Session, look at the lockdown. Good push guard out. Oh, a million dollars can connect. Okay, I was a little worried about how the, uh, the Molotov oh. was still going to be there at the end of that confirm, but still gets kill anyways with the reset. There we go, going for the snap. Going to bring in Akuma. Brings in Verge or uh, Zero. Snap and then tag. It didn't really get a mix, but still gets the hit. Hmm. Jam session kind of good. It worked out in the end. A little messy, but. Jam session again. Look for the Buster. Okay, so Genmu here. Killer B. And there it is, man. The Buster release just too strong for Zero. Okay, Legend has another chance. Good blocks until that one. That was rough to deal with. Yeah, dude, the layers of these TK Lightnings are so disgusting. Finally gets the hit there with the medium. That should do it. Yuli going to spend two bars. Keep it simple. That is the death of the commander. And that is the set. But no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. We're still in. If Legend wins this game, he wins the set. There's no shot. As long as, he, as long as he can get the kill before X is over, he, he's still in there. Oh, okay. Got the throw. That's a start. Distance close. Should be able to kill. Oh, no. No. Wait. Still in it. DT. He's going to get chipped here. Don't tag. Yuli, don't tag. Oh, yeah. he gets chipped. Oh. If you spend the three there, zero doesn't carry a lot of health, man. I, it's hard. I, it's it's hard to get into level three though, especially if you used your magnum earlier in the combo. I got the president <laughs> on the line. Is that Mr. Biden? Hold on one uh, second. <laughs> you need a hold. <laughs> Tony Killer, bro. Right away he gets the hit. Double OTG. Send it. All I gotta think in my head, Ramora is probably like, oh shit. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> not me too, bro. No, it drops though. Okay, still able to jump away. Helmbreaker not able to connect. Oh, for the ass, he gets both. Let's go. For the round trip with the teleport, trying to get the foot dive out and look for the frame traps. Oh, that dash off S, so confident. That was a push block, I think. He said, I'm not even going to waste X. I'm just going to go in. No way. Yes, sir. Rapid slash, still a great assist. It's not an <laughs> OTG, but it'll do. He said, I don't have to do a size, though. I got Samurai's Edge. Dude, it's time. Don't sell. Don't oh, sell. Don't he's sell. holding. He's holding. We sold. Oh, he's winning. Yeah, you're right. He's we sold. sold. We sold. Just like that. Remora is ruining the fun. Take him back to 2012. It's time. No way. OK, OK. Good rapid slash from Remora here. Yeah, he got it, he got it, he got it. Able to stabilize. Virgil does the job. Player one wins. I know he's sweating, though. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, bro, this shit its about to happen to me. Sweating, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. He said, I'm not about to be a part of the legend of Tony Killer. Nice cross-up. You know, what's extra funny is that Ramora normally listens to the stream while he plays, so he's hearing this. He's too. a monster. Ramora, you're a monster. I don't know how you do that. He's doing this right now. He's like, I don't know either. <laughs> Cross up, Ooh. gets the throw, missiles, not able to fix it with the launcher. Oh! Nice block. Ramora knows. He used to play Viper. That's true, huh? Mm -hmm. Good drug on there. No. Oh my god, we got both. Just. <gasps> Tony, launcher, take your damage. No, the cross up. Ramora. 
He's done it again. He's doing it, man. Zero looking good right now. Viper's out. No X Factor for Wesker here. This is a pretty tough hill to climb. Yeah, with no X, there's no shot. Okay, so Genmu trying to keep it up. He's trying to chip him out here. Oh, unblockable. It doesn't even matter because he already comboed into it. Two grams straight. Tony has been so close. Did get that first clean hit and had an opportunity. Needs to be more careful. Throwing round trip at normal jump height when you don't have an assist to be able to hold you down is pretty easily punished by zero. And that's what ended up losing that game. All the momentum got came from that one punish that Ramor was able to get. It, it's like one of those rough things because Tony likes to do resets there. But when you catch zero, you got to kill him. And then on top of that, you got Virgil in the back, man. You already know what Ramora can do with that character. Oh, a little frame trap there with the Green Buster. I like that. Level 2 Buster into the run-up. Classic Zero technology. Booze in the chat. They don't <laughs> like it. There we go. Missiles on the way down. Trades up. Okay. Good block low. Got them both. No missiles this time. Tony, please. Oh, oh, he waited. He waited oh, all day. So Kill them both. You got Virgil. You got Zero. What more could you ask for? Okay. Here we go. No way. Samurai's edge assist just because. Oh, he popped out. He was in the sweet spot. Box dash M able to get the hit for Ramora. It's going to be up to Wesker here. X-Factor's dwindling down as well. Oh, you have to block. No those. way. Swings, Tony. No way. Oh, Tony, please, please, Tony. He's like, I didn't have my OTG assist. Put down forward heavy. You just need one more. Let me remind you that Tony killed He got him. Let me remind you that Tony Killer has multi size modes. We've seen them. Just one gunshot. Just one. shoot him once, anything. Please don't get hit. Spear flame. Doesn't nice! Matter. It's not over! <laughs> Let's go! Tony, we're still in it! If you can get one, you can get three. It's time. That's very true. No, Never mind. he got one. That's a yeah. Legs get scooped. That was, that was, that was a good, good, good game. I mean, he gets rid of the Virgil here. It depends if Viper can hit the ground because you already know you gotta respect the EX size mode and Thunder Knuckle. Viper's happy birthday to every game, whether there was no a conversion way. or not. Ah, uh, okay, good to get to the corner though. Remora, height with the confirm. Looking good here. Yes, has enough for one more. Can get Viper out cleanly. Look at it. A little, a little adjustment just because. There we go. Catching on the lightning. Missiles helping out as well. Stop X. Tony, there's a chance. Kick out, bro. No, he's all, he, he. I'm surprised he ain't level three. Oh, it's like that reward. <laughs> Man, come on. Oh, that was kind of cool, though. Ramor is a bully. 3-1. <laughs> That's all right, Tony. That's all right. Oh, man. We'll get him in the second half. He said, I'm not going to lie. They have him. Into the match. DXP is going to pick the stuff. It's oh. the Ken. This is what the XP does, knowing he's going to lose the match. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> LT going to be rocking the Phoenix as well. Of LT side teams, this is my favorite one. I think he's really, his Magneto is surprisingly good, I say, as he gets grabbed by West. I think it's Doctor Strange. I feel like the Strange Nova team is just his main team, though. That still counts. Better assist, right? The Doomy? Nah. Uh, Bolts, Bolts let, allows mix up, but doesn't matter. We're not even seeing them here. Yep, so brings it down to the ground with the infinite. Should be able to build up five bars. Strong stuff for LT. He'll take out the Wesker. The real threat comes in next. Oh, yeah, were you? That's Mr. Masters. He's leaving. Checks that low for the second time. Wasn't able to tech out. Good launch immediately with the S. Unfortunately, misses out on the TAC. No way. <laughs> he got too much lag to fall for the fake. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I like the reversal super there.
Oh Ooh. my goodness, the super! Say, so, yeah, the cannon appearing actually single-digit frames is one of his fastest. Uh, one of his fastest actual moves. Definitely a good option there. Okay, pick up. So we need 19 hits though. Problem is, is you still gotta fight Phoenix. That's so cheap, bro. Is that an infinite two as well? No, it's just a loop and two. Nah. Sure is. Does get it. It looked like he was falling slowly, so I think he hits the ground eventually. Nah, that's not how that works. Yo, Koopa Koopa coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Like the restart is good. I think you get him out of the way faster. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Good recognition there, trying to go for the track down. Looks for the punish, but has missed out on the raw tech punch a couple times, but missiles fix everything. Still all right. Go for the reset. Yes, able to get it at the top with the throw. All right, DXP got to come to TNS9. Play LT in person, bro. I'm sick of seeing this. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> one. Doesn't even need another. Very nice being able to cash out. Ryu comes in next. And the high low is just a little too much. DXP is the type to let the DP rip, but it's never even had time to. That all combo about the missiles, bro. <laughs> there we go. That's the most damage he's done in this game. Okay. Up the shin shore, you can should be enough to kill. No, TAC is broken. LT so aware and is able to avoid the DP also. Look for the chip. Yeah, able to get Magneto out of here. Oh, he jumped up just to get thrown. That's the new strats. Oh no, all up to Iron Man, catching at the low and the cross under. This is over. You could have just supered there. Just prolonging it. Sometimes you want him to watch a movie. Because I earned this hit. The other movie is better. Hey, okay, starts off taking the glasses off right away. Doesn't get a punish there from LT, though. Oh, had a weird opportunity there. Tried to go for the jab, but... Recognizes a little too far, didn't want to commit too hard, it looked like. Oh, what a throw! So low to the ground. Uh, but not able to convert there, a little too low on that. I like the zoning he's trying to play here, but not going to matter. Catch him with the H here for LT. Yeah, go ahead and go to the next game, guys. This match is over. Ends up just looking for the reset just because. Kills him with the mag blast. PXP wasted on time with this. That's definitely a good call there because missiles were going to come down. I mean, two incredibly mobile characters and the block on the overhead. I just, I don't know how you're going to get a better opportunity than that. 18-year-old kids have reactions. They can block those. Donkey kick. <laughs> you letting them know, bro. Iron Man with no X Factor. Yeah, see you in the next match. He wants the reset just because. He says, make it take forever. He might do it again. Nah, nah, he finishing out. There you go, LT. I mean, DXP, as soon as he locks in the Ken, I mean, your fate is sealed. <laughs> uh, damn pool. Can he hold off, like we said, the Viper Army tonight in King Carlos? Oh, good blocks from Zen Pool though. Try to go for the bolo, ended up in kind of a weird situation. I like that super jump out though, and the dash across, to be able to get out of the corner as well. Yeah, because I mean, if Viper's able to keep you in the corner that long, you're going to get mixed up and get opened up here. Hatsu helps clear things out a little bit. 
Again, it's just committing super hard to try and get these punishes after the bolo here. Viper's lost half her life in this situation. Oh, great overhead here from Zen. Yep, cash it out, get the kill, get Viper out. Cross underneath, looks for the overhead for the second time, still not able to find it. Okay, wasn't able to find the lockdown for the uh, for the attempt at the unblockable either, so things get a little messy. Deadpool has time to swing, jumping S. Easily gets the hit on zero, and he should die for that. Yeah, you got million dollars in the back. I mean, that's enough damage for two bars. He even cut it just a little early, too. Crystal? Didn't, didn't cut it early enough, though, so unfortunately he wasn't able to get the raw tag. Still got the kill, that's what matters. I like the use of Crystal here from Zempel, man, just in case he wants a foot dive or whatnot, but the stand age getting blown up off the photons. Super gets one, but doesn't get the kill on Dante. Still worth it to get the hit on the Akuma. We're blocking. That, that was sneaky, bro. Dude, King Carlos blocks everything in that situation. Defense holding up beautifully. I love the idea behind that with Zempel. Got the cross under, but not. Oh, look at the lights right there from Carlos. Ground, sends out the one missile, back to the same side. Temple with a pretty easy defense off of that one. DT active. I feel like Dante has the advantage when we have that DT available. His just his projectile game and the threat of Cycle Crusher makes it really hard for Doom to fight. Well, the problem here is uh, Dr. Doom, this is a one-touch game off a throw or whatever you do. There you go. Goes for the extra loop just because. Level three to take the kill. First game, King Carlos. He, he had made such a good decision there when the Killer B was coming down. He jumped up, chicken guard, punished on that. That was the whole match right there. Balti, I'm coming over. They haven't got the hit. Try to go for the grenade. Get him locked down back to the ground. Can't close the distance fast enough, though. It's a little unfortunate not being able to get the planks across. He's got to watch out for the EX size modes here, especially when Viper's close. Okay, Tatsu clearing here. That's a lot of damage on Carlos. All the gunshots are starting to add up. Oh! The hidden passive, the low crush. Works out beautifully. Goes for the cross up as well, and the launcher, but a little too high. Unfortunately, Zero, one of the greatest benefits of the character is that not only is he just broken, but he's also small, so he's hard to hit in situations like that. It's hard to deal with, bro, like real talk, but I mean, right now, Zempel's doing a magnificent job in neutral. Okay, a little lightning here, try to slow him down. Ooh, stand H, so Genmu able to activate, confirm off of it. Great buster release here from Carlos. So he had time to be able to fix it, even with the missiles coming too. So this is Carlos, TAC attempted and successful. Two bars built up, should kill. Still gotta finish it though, keeping it simple. Going for the snap, wants to bring in Akuma. Oh no, not enough time with the hard tag though. I feel like that tag might have just been a mistake. It could have been. Oh, caught with the H there, almost had the sweep. Photon's gonna hit the assist, but it looks like we're gonna save it. Yeah, great call from Zen there. Yeah, good recognition in the air, knowing you're gonna be able to get away from that one. Oh, good block as well. For sure, for sure, I got hit. I mean, has the DP locked and loaded. Depending on how Doom approaches here, he could pretty easily get clapped, but Mash is on the low. Gotta get out of the corner. Carlos is doing a good job in neutral, trying to keep him locked in the corner. What a confirm, though. Got yep, that little bit extra damage. Every single point counts, avoids the foot dive, no. jumping light. He caught it before the invincibility frames came out. Oh, but misses a crucial punish. The raw tag from Zempool almost sold the whole game there, but instead we're gonna shoot them all up and even up the set count. Good look from Zen there, man. Was willing to commit to the neutral the whole time, man. Can I give you a lukewarm Marvel take? Yeah, yeah, hit Southern me. California hard tag too much. Two each of their own. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Next punish. Great whiff punish from King Carlos. 
No way, he got them both off of that. Simple. Dude, and they're both dead. Able to leave Deadpool in as well, but no. Had to go for the DT in the end. Looks for the chip and does find it. That was getting close, man. Carlos could have X-Factored there. Opting to keep the Viper intact. Lights on the way down. Almost got it. Spent all the meter just to keep yourself safe there. Yeah, got to get some kind of aggression going. I don't like the decision. I mean, now you get one more look here with the X-Factor. Yeah, that and you're gonna, you're definitely just blocking things, you will end up gaining one bar. So you have one more EX to spend as well. Possibly, yeah, 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 yeah. you're definitely right. Shouldn't die from Chip before he builds up that one more bar. Uh, but taking hits, he's gonna change things up a bit. Pretty hard to deal with, coming with the light, able to get it here. Okay, now you're gonna be happy you saved that bar. Now you can get this uh, Deadpool out of here. Oh my God, just kill him. Ooh. No way. Has one bar, uses it immediately. EX Seismo not even close. And delaying those air raids a little bit just to make sure he falls low enough for it to combo. I like that. Looking good. Great awareness from Zenpole in that situation, man. So Dante is looking well practiced. I, I will say it every time I see him. I still miss the Ryu, but. Dante's just a better character, man. He has so way more utility, man. In every, just in every single measurable category, he's better. The only, thing he, the only thing he has worse is that he has uh, Ryu has DP. And he has faster normals. That's it. Look at the size, though. <laughs> Mid-range, man. Rebellion's too good of a sword not to use it that way. Let's be real here. All right, Zen's going to take a break real quick. You know, go back to character select. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Dante is way better for Deadpool. Oh, yeah, Laser Dude. It's, like, not even a question, not comparable. But the heart wants what the heart wants. Wonderland. My boy, sounded good to me. Here we go. Can Carlos tie this up and get to a game five? Just goes for the sides with the round start. Starting the buster and closing the distance. Good push block. And he uses the crouching heavy to actually slide out of there. That's very Nova-esque. Sometimes you got those command movements, man. Get you out of the uh, bad situations. Look at the ninja tools backing up here. Good air to air though. Zempel is doing a really good job of keeping Carlos out. Until right there, man. Off the bus to release. Looking good. Yeah, definitely a great way to pick that up. Got the TAC. Can keep it simple. Yes. Yeah, I that, like that. That little bit of extra damage, a little bit of extra meter built. Well, I mean, next touch here, I mean, you don't have to uh, spend your X Factor because you have zero. So you got enough to at least get. Okay, we're going right after Akuma. Oh, no. Missing out on the confirm is huge. Zempool gets the Tatsu. No, not quite. Just a little too far in the DI. He's going to get a look, though. Oh, didn't believe in his cross up there. Wasn't ready. Super, that'll chip. Nope, no, we got he's next. So again, Mu, okay. Gonna get something pushing to the corner here. Dante trying to get out. Gotta get a teleport or something. Okay. This is this Yo. Way. Standing heavy, hits on the backside. Raw attack comes through. Carlos gets away relatively unscathed from pretty unsafe raw attack there. I was right in the middle of the war zone too. Tatsu was out. It's a very scary spot to be in, that's for sure. Optic Blast coming in. Getting the chip here. Dante gotta watch out. And again, one more. I'm so surprised there wasn't EX Seismo there to just bet it all. Oh, he was going for the hard combo there. You know, with the hard tag, able to keep the assist intact though. That definitely matters. Akuma needs the jam session here. Akuma's also not bad at oh. oh, we're not gonna get to see it. Akuma's not bad at comboing off a of jam session either. Uh, super jump heavy into light, uh, light demon flip, light palm immediately. It's pretty stable confirm. I mean, it, it does scale a little bit, but jam session built tons of meter though, oh, yeah. so it definitely helps here when you uh, Akuma. But right now the chip is adding up. This may be it. Yep, fully invincible, all the way. At least I believe it's projectile fully invincible. Is that fully invincible to everything, Chad, or is it just projectiles? I know projectiles. 
Fully, gotcha. I knew it was one of them. Yeah, you, you know, it was one of the other, but someone, someone always knows. Great throw here from Zen, though. Got to get the zero out of here, no matter what it takes. Oh, no. Unfortunately, it's going to take a little more than what Zenpool was able to offer there. Yeah. Underneath, look for the wall jump. I mean, commitment on the movement. Had an opportunity to punish, does oh. end up getting it. That's rough, man, because it's so hard to already get one clean hit on zero and you're looking for two. Okay, here's your chance to drop off the Sogenma loops. Dr. Doom going to take a little bit of damage. He's going to take to the skies here, possibly look for the chip here with the air raids. Yeah, Tony, I know. It loses invincibility when she starts going up. Messed up. Still chilling. Optic Blast. Optic Blast was the MVP last time. Zoning Viper felt like it was an insurmountable wall once uh, once Zempool lost out on the dead pool. For sure, for sure. Because, like, I mean, the air mobility between, like, Akuma. Look at the teleport. Trying to find the Tatsu in there. Stinger, yes, that's a good look. Keeps the same side. The problem with that is you push guard Dante off the Stinger and off the teleport, it puts him in front, so it makes him mix him up on his own. Oh. That should not have worked. <laughs> but it did. <laughs> Holy moly. Nice step from Zempool into the revolver as well, but unfortunately uh, doesn't get the hit. hit. I respect that, but dang, man, it's going to cost you. No, we're back in. All right, got to watch out for these missiles here. X Factor is winding down for King Carlos. And Zen still has his intact with the full squad, man. Oh my god, oh, six the knee out no. had to X. But this is definitely good shit, man. You do not have to approach zero here. You have jam session. You have a way from uh not approach you. This is close, gets the jab. No. Bolo connects the clean touch. All down to the doom, and what a tough matchup to deal with. Deadpool's already hard enough. Jam session on top of it, plus Tatsu to push you full screen. Stand age, quick work. Okay, catch up with the low there on the frame traps. Too sneaky from Zempel. He builds up the second bar, so that's an easy finish there. One super and the DHC finish him up. Zempel looking good, man. Able to take that three to two here in losers. Nice finish. Can he get himself back together here? Can he recuperate after the loss? Caterbot, you know what Fridays are for. Dumb question, but I appreciate it. Hit it's always the, Marvel. Hit him with the what? <laughs> Did we play it on Fridays? What? <laughs> Wesker X Factor. Easy kill on Nova. There you go. Half the life off Magneto as well. Tries to get the lockdown on Spencer. Did not fight on the, uh, oh. the left and right. Good call. Yeah, you got to, man. He was about to set it up there. Great throw after the drop, though, from Undink here, though. Yo, has Magneto in, has a slant shot for the mix-up as well. Nice block. Okay, able to catch with Phantom Dance, get the glasses off here, waste some of that X-Factor time. That's definitely a good look from Legend here. With the dive kick, the blocks on the way down. Just one clean hit, and Monday's not gonna have any of it. Can he get this confirmed? And does. He builds up the second bar. As long as you got Spencer in the back, you already know this is going to kill. And now, unfortunately, Living Legend is going to have to duke it out with the Wesker. Which is possible. Takes a little bit of work, though. Sensei, I believe uh, Saturday, but don't quote me, but I believe Saturday. I'm sure someone that is a TO can double check me on that, but Saturday is what I would say. Friday, I believe, is just teams. Oh, what a throw here from Monday. No, try to go for EM Disruptor. Does he get that extra bit of damage? Look for the movement, the cross under so fast. Here we go, light on the way down, able to connect. Monday, get on the board first here. Yeah. I mean, life from Living Legend definitely had some good opportunities there. 
This is a little unfortunate. As soon as he overcommits with Chris, the one time Bionic Arm comes through, and you know the rest of the story. Yes. Definitely that snowball effect, man. Real quick, it happens. For the super, point blank, had to X Factor the save. Wesker, definitely good call. Looking for the alpha counter. Crouch heavy into light palm as well. That's optimal, bro. Just to make sure. It's like scaling, bro. <laughs> oh, Cobra Strike or the Cobra Palm on the incoming. Yeah, Sensei, if you're only coming to play and you only are going to be playing in singles brackets, yeah, Saturday and Sunday. We'd love to see you on Friday, but Saturday and Sunday is all you need to be there for the singles tournament. Oh, no, not like that. That's really unfortunate. For both sides. Okay, good blocks there. Going to bring in Nova, keep it safe. Good teleporter under, though. Yeah, commits to the gunshot. That's just not what you want to see. Once Nova has already committed to a dash there, gunshot almost never will hit. The javelin cross under. Oh, caught him whiffing a button in the air here. Stan Lights are so strong from Nova. Yeah, one of the nicest things about playing Nova is spots like that. When your combo gets a little shaky and you're unsure how to follow through, mash the jab, baby. Mash it like four times. Especially when you're an X Factor. It won't even matter by then. Trying to catch him with the palm. Okay, Tatsu does connect. Looking good. He can kill off this. Legend's still in this. Yes. Fireball in the follow-up. Feel like I've seen this movie before. Spencer once again goes for the oh. launcher. Does he get a punish? There we go. Legend gets the hit. He did use the ground balance. This is going to be close. He has another super. Easily going to kill if he gets it, and he does link it. Yes. Nice. You see that? It's always entertaining to me to see that how much damage that one fireball does. That oh, the one? Ball. Yeah, 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 the yeah. chunk comes out. It's like you see the health going down at a steady <laughs> state, and then you're like, what? <laughs> Oh, man. But here we go, man. Legend early on getting a throw here on Nova. Opting for the snap. Wants to take care of the beam. I think that's a good call. I don't think that's a good call. Yeah, all of a sudden not looking so good. Taken to the corner. With the DHC, I mean, that's just the you already Spencer. Know. You Spencer already is know. The, the most important cog of this team. Everything kills because of him. He glues together the mix-ups. He makes your snaps more effective. What doesn't he do? Have a level three. That's all I can say. That's Monic it. Arm, I feel like is a level three. It just costs one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that good. <laughs> there we go. Off the crouch. M here for Mundank. Looking good with the X. Going right after Chris. Gets the crumple. And he easily finishes. Okay, you know what comes next. If you give him too much room, he's going to demon flip. If you don't, you know that DP is coming. Oh, he caught him. Easy X Factor from Legend. He disrespects it. He said, it, it won't happen to me. Oh, double demon flip. Was trying to bait out that super jump. Positioning was pretty good. Actually tracking down Magneto and getting him uh, like steady enough to actually get a mix up is going to be so difficult, though. Those mag blasts are put in really good spots for Mundane here to keep himself safe. Has to go for the super. Off a counter, good idea, but does not work out. Steven? No, slot string. Definitely a punish here, though. Look for the chip. He might get there in time. Okay. Yeah, super hard punish to actually get the punch on. Two are super. Wow. Almost had it. Oh, on fly. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> little tap dance action just because. I felt very Marvel, too. I'm committed to the low. <laughs> oh, man. A difficult situation for Legend, unfortunately, gets worse because the overhead is broken. The screen froze? Yeah, I was going to say, it had to be. No way we're taking six overheads as uh, as Akuma and we're not pressing longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. A little bit of a delay here. Just legend. Making sure everything's together before we get into our next match. Obviously, that's the uh, last thing you want to see is hardware be a, uh, you know, a part of the decision.
Think he makes a swap, maybe to Dante here? Nah, you know, keep playing his stuff. I think the team is I don't think the team is the issue. I feel like he's been getting okay amounts of hits. It's just they're not converting into full kills and he's not being able to get any kind of mix up off. Spencer is like getting away too often, you know? Spencer's hard to catch, bro. And, like you gotta respect the bionic arm, especially when he has bar, another character, or X Factor. Just like that endgame situation. Akuma gets the first kill, misses out on the mix-up. Uh, Magneto gets away. He never gets a real another opportunity. Yeah, never got another already... real shot. Okay, glasses off. He's gonna be safe. Oh, good H at the top. Might have been a throw. Oh, better H at the top from Nova though. Definitely was a throw. Okay. Building up that meter. Wesker surely dead. Just gonna see how we set up our next mix up. What are we gonna do? Usually he brings in Nova for this one, which I usually think is correct. Especially with Chris coming in. I feel like Nova does really well against Chris. Cross under, good blocks though. Able to get out here for Legend. Oh, what a great X Factor here from Living Legend. Taking care of the problem. Oh, oh. no, but you aimed the gun in the wrong direction. Suddenly has become the problem here. Maybe gonna look for the no, yeah, just gonna go for the full combo. I was thinking maybe the snap kill some X Factor time, but killing the character definitely better. Super and then the DHC Bionic maneuvers more than enough. Akuma, no X Factor this time. It's just so much damage, man. Just to make sure, I like it. The demon, demon flip outs. See, he already kind of showed his hand, was willing to commit to the top two there. Super is going to hit Nova and get the kill. So one down. Yeah, Javelin disappears when you get hit there. So excellent decision making from Legend. Outer slap, man. Here. I know. <laughs> Couple of trades here. Neither one getting the advantage. A Monday can afford to make a few more mistakes. That's just like we saw in the last game. It's just so hard for Akuma to really get an opportunity. Oh, Crouching oh heavy. He doesn't get more. That's, oh. That was still sick, though. Teleport into Crouch Heavy. Like, okay, okay. That was, that was kind of nasty. It's too bad he didn't convert. Yeah, had to make it work there. Good finish, Mundink. As always. Let's give me the sticks. <laughs> All right, let's find out how he does. Already a good start. Gets the throw. Assert, yeah, you got to establish dominance in the Hulk mirror. That's a good start. The trades back and forth. Ends up getting standing heavy, doesn't get much afterwards. And the oh. follow-up gets both. Once, Solo Ghost Rider, this is not going to be a good look. Once again, DXP wasting our time, playing this garbage. DJ, make it quick, baby. Make it quick. Show them who's boss around here. There you go, just like that. Game of Charge connects. Ghost Rider easily cleaned up. Feels like Ghost Rider does okay when he has assists, but like solo, especially when there's X Factor already available for the Hulk. There's not much you can do, man. He is going to Game of Charge, and you are going to have to guess. <laughs> Anchor Ghost Rider, especially? Yeah, not happening. Oh, but all of a sudden, DXP goes for two. He's going to get the X and the Hell Spire for the OTG. Ghost Rider, kind of good. Look at the throw. Okay. <laughs> he spends one meter for a launcher there <laughs> with the meteor. All right, look for the hard drive. Try to get out of the corner. Okay, good look there for DXP. Got plenty of time to block. Doesn't get the throw though because he didn't jump high enough. Launcher from Ghost Rider and the TAC. He wasn't even on the screen. He don't know Rocket Punch. But don't let DXP get a game with his whack team. Come on, TJ. You better than this. I feel like TJ gonna get level three. Okay, America's favorite. No, it doesn't even connect. That doesn't even work. That's all right. This one works. Fade away, jump heavy there with a rocket punch to convert. 
Look at the air to airs. Yeah, solo Hulk. Uh, in the in the opposite matchup, the same situation. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna get much done. Do not back away from the drones. Run right into them. Oh. oh. Okay, TJ. Same goes with command though. Just walk right in. Oh no. Getting a little full of ourselves here. Too big for our britches. When was the last time you called pants britches? 15 uh -oh. years ago. I can't see. Hell's own grenade type stuff in the end. TJ manages to get out. There it's clearing as well. Game no, in the super. He missed the rocket punch there. Now he's going to pay the price. Oh, had the X Factor. No, that's not going to convert. Uh, but he texts forward, gets the raw tag. Tough situation for Ghost Rider here. Jo he's just going jumping heavy. So that's a, I have a game plan and it's set, but that does not beat the launcher. That game plan just got blown up. <laughs> yeah, he jump heavy into the hard drive just to get out of the corner. Didn't even have to spend his X Factor. Well worth it, but the tag is bad. Oh, charge. He managed to survive. That was the best tag I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's going to get body for this. Oh, but it's not going to be able to convert. He could have He could have actually comboed that. I think he was in time. Ooh, jump against hit the, hit, gets the hit, though, especially with X-Factor. More than enough time. No, actually doesn't quite get to the ground. Eventually, the pipe will catch you. Yeah, unfortunate system, uh, situation comes up once again. No, that's not going to work. Sorry, it's chip, it's chip. Oh, we're a hard tag. That's close enough. One touch will do it. He just has to tickle him. Just clip his toenail. He's trying to get space. Anything. So I'll take the trade on that go. And somehow DXP is in it. One hit on Hagar right here, and that will finish it because Sentinel is. Oh, TJ Sentinel is low on health. It doesn't matter, though. Fade away jumper. We're in. TJ fighting for his honor right now, bro. You cannot let DXP get you with Team Meteors. Cross up oh. get. That is such a cursed way to get the hit. And the side switch as well. Right back into the corner here for TJ. Go up by some storm, got the kill here. He chills. TJ using that, uh, using Lariat a little too preemptively in certain situations. Get him in a little bit of trouble. Oh, great throw from TJ, though. And we're just putting in overtime as we're able to get the extra extensions. And he oh. got away with it. Yeah, getting Ghost Rider in is definitely huge. You got to get a little bit of room, but once you do, I feel like you got a good opportunity here to fight. Never mind. Pipes <laughs> are good, bro. <laughs> got the relaunch all the way to the corner. Three bars. This should be enough for to get the kill on Ghost Rider. Follow up with the Meteor. Has another bar. There you go. Yeah, don't take any risk there. DXP still has X-Factor on his side, so even a pixel health character can be dangerous. You should be able to fully punish it. Oh, okay. Good X Factor from DXP realizing the situation. He got a big hill to climb. Oh, man. And he fell down the mountain. There you go. Should be able to finish. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, TJ, get to hit him with the taunt. Let him know. You can't let DXP run you over with the Hulk. He tried. He really did. Beginning of the video, and you can't say it too much. So yes, I mean this is not the beginning of the YouTube video, so we can say fuck now. Just not too much. We're bleeping that one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. About the start. I mean this is extra tough. I feel like because Zempool does have a ton of practice against Point Virgil. 
And frame traps. Okay, anybody. he ain't got no practice against Viper, though. They ain't got no Vipers on the West Coast. Look oh. at that. <laughs> he waits so long after the crumble. He makes me so nervous. That's because he knows he can. All right. Burn kick? No way! Whoa! Uh, this is Marlin Pie, bro. Stop oh. <laughs> The Tony exclusive. Oh my god. This is Marlin Pie. Body the Sakuma, baby. He tried to unblockable. <laughs> <laughs> he unblockable. Whoa, oh. let's go. <laughs> I know Zempel sent back like, what is this shit, bro? <laughs> Tony oh. Killer. There's one. <laughs> bro, I, I, need, I need, you know, I don't even have a tattoo yet, but I'm going to go get my first one tonight, bro. It's going to say Tony Killer on it. All right. This is my hero right now. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, he went for it. He went for it. Hellbreaker gunshot setup. Hellbreaker don't hit high. I'm not sure if he knows or not. It don't matter. Mm. Punish didn't get anything else. Of oh, course patience. he's launching. Dash up, raw launcher. This guy, I love it. Tony Killer. I like he cut it short there. Didn't throw the uh, crouch H there. Don't oh, matter. Yes, sir. This is like a GameCube controller where the launch is that big button in the middle. What's <laughs> <laughs> the green one, Doug? Thoughts are clearing things out a little bit. Finally getting that clean hit. Get rid of the Virgil. But we already saw this once before. Viper can do the work. What's this team? This is the future, Jason. <laughs> I always say history repeats itself. Oh. Yes, sir. And meterless, it's time. This is the best Viper. Oh, okay, this is not the best Viper. So it's all up to Wesker now. I, I believe in Wesker, baby. Oh, that's it. That hits. Oh, it's, it's bad trade, bad trade. Okay. Oh, raw launcher with that too. He said, bro, raw launcher minus one. Why not? It's actually even uh, if he takes the glasses off. That's actually not a bad move. <gasps> but he had oh, a oh, 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 you, bro. <laughs> fearless. My dude is fearless. All right. Tony, do be killing. My dude, my dude is a Taylor Swift album, bro, because he is fearless out here. Oh, my God. And he's partying like it's 1989, you know? He's <laughs> quote Prince. No, it's another Taylor Swift album. 1989. Oh, really? Come on, man. That's because he's playing like it's 2011. That's the reference. Yeah, come on. Don't, don't make me have to explain it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this, you knew he didn't need the super. Temple said, I'm still in this, bro. Don't You got to believe. Air throw definitely helps as well. Extend this as far as you can. Super number one, DHC. And that's perfect timing on the DHC too. We're gonna be able to get a tag and we're gonna be able to get a mix. No way. My dude is a pro. My dude is actually godlike. That was the most perfectly timed X Pact I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> this Akuma is scared. Akuma should be scared. I'm scared. Oh, the trade! He said, you X-Factor? I'm gonna launch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your <y> X-Factor. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh! This, this, this might be the best one. Oh, okay, that's not the best one. It's all right. It's all right. You know, we will, I just want to see another Tony game anyway. So it's all good. Zempool just doing us a favor. Zempool almost dropped that, bro. Tony <laughs> factor. The, the, the Tony factor is kicking in. Okay, okay. Cute little setup. That don't mean nothing to Tony, though. Tony don't need no Virgil, but that's the weakest character on his team. Doesn't kill. Oh, okay, okay. You got lucky with the overhead. Tony usually block those. Tony don't usually block. He's just usually on the offense. 
It's the Patrick <laughs> Mahomes, bro. He don't have to play defense. Okay. I like the idea. Use a burn kick to threaten and then go straight back to the other side. Oh, quick work. Catching low. What a throw, though. Kaseki asks why bro refuses to do Stinger and do Belt. Because he don't play like you, man. He don't play like no Virgil you've ever seen. This guy's an originator. All right? This guy's an originator. The initiator. All right? And he's going to take us to game five because he knows we want to see more Tony. Say That's his ninja way, dog. <laughs> you, can't, you can't argue with it. His level, his level of play is beyond our comprehension right now. Okay, we can't be arguing with what he's doing and not doing. Look at this. Look at this. He's got the Viper OTG assist. All right? I have never seen that actually used in tournament in my entire life. This guy, this guy's built different. This guy, this guy is the best. He's the best point Virgil too, bro. You heard of DX Pride. This is a live X Pride, bro. My dude is godlike. <laughs> oh. It's all right. All right, it's one time for the loop. Let's get it. No, you didn't need it. You didn't uh -oh. need it. You were safe. No oh, way. Well, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. No. <laughs> This ain't clockwork, baby. This smartwatch, all right? <laughs> this dude is the best. <gasps> Stand heavy? No way. Hold you, man. Don't you ever doubt Tony Killer. He just gave Zempel those two games because he's not trying to kill the scene, all right? <laughs> Top eight, Tony Killer in the house.